Hi, welcome to the Resurrection Sunday tribute to our dear friend Steve West on 91X. We are back live on Facebook. We are having some technical difficulties. Hopefully we figured it out and we are now into the last hour of the program. So thank you for being here. I'm Garrett Michaels, um, host of Resurrection Sunday, program director of 91X currently. Michael Halloran is here, long time legend here in San Diego and alum and family member of 91X since Tom Perry was here, but I think he's using the men's room, so he'll be back. So here we are, happy to be here. We have um, some other guests that are gonna be calling in uh, in the uh, next hour of the show. Uh, we're going to Which hear from Mad here? Max Tolkoff. We're going to hear from uh, a, a dear, dear friend of Steve West, who originally um, was the person who helped get him back and forth across the border back in the day. Um, we're going to be hearing uh, from Richard Blade the from the world famous K Rock, the uh, other Englishman. English. The reason English. Steve was originally hired at 91X back in 83 was the program director. Of K Rock um, at the time, well, Rick Carroll was the consultant for 91X when it switched in January of '83. And one of the first things that informed uh, the folks here was we need to get an English guy like Richard. So uh, yeah, yeah. we had Steve yeah, West. So uh, we'll uh, be talking to him. Uh, Mike Peters of The Alarm is going to be checking with us uh, towards the end of the show as well. And we are uh, also recording the audio of today's broadcast, and we will be making it available to be streamed on demand from the 91X website probably by tomorrow night, maybe tomorrow afternoon. So there's that. And, uh, yeah, and uh, a few other 91X would be popping. I think Hillary, obviously, she comes on after us to do Church of Bob at 10 a.m. We'll see Hillary in a bit. Uh, Tim Piles will be uh, joining us. As well, a uh, long time 91X or host of Loudspeaker, our local music show here on 91X, and uh, a, a guy who grew up in San Diego and obviously uh, loves Steve and listens to Steve. So there you go. We've had breakfast burritos this morning, thanks to our friends uh, at Cotijan and, and, Josh. Uh, and Josh Hammond, our promotion marketing director, who was so kind to pick those up. We've had way too much coffee. Um, and thank goodness this is working now, right? Are we working? We're okay. Mm -hmm. Everything's good. All right. Michael, what are you doing over there? I'm trying to find out why this thing isn't working. Oh. Okay, this feed. Oh, gosh, no. He's messing with something. <laughs> okay, where's this feed coming from? Oh, wherever he's Joe's got it plugged in. Mm -hmm. Are we going right after the song? Uh, we actually need to play something. Here. Let's what do you want to play? We've got 20 seconds. You want to play, play a double shot? Just do Madwell. A double shot. All right. Okay. Here we go. Hit whatever button you normally hit there, Garrett. Stand by, please. Okay, here's the uh, air feed. Hmm. And here is the off air. It's weird. Give me another request that somebody wanted to hear. Something other than Tears for Fears since we just did a double shot of Tears for Fears. Let's see. A double shot. It's radio. You have to, speed you have to play some sort of a some sort of a UB40 deal. All right, what do you want to play? Or, um, or do you want any madness? We haven't yeah, do, uh, do the madness, bad manners thing. Yeah. Tons of requests for that. All right. Good, Good choice. One step beyond. Hey! There's the Spanish version. Do you have that? I do have that one. Yeah, let's play that one. That's awesome. Is that the one we want to play? Yeah. Let me make it bigger. See, it's off center. I guess it's fine. All right, so then after Madness, where did he go? Did he just disappear on me? Just like that? He's, he's serious. Well, he was talking about bad manners too, right? He was. But I want 
wish we had time to talk to the commander. That's true. So, and, and maybe, maybe why don't we uh, then yeah. Yeah, do uh, do madness and then we'll go to Tolka. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we're doing Tammy first. We doing Tammy first. Yeah. Let me. Uh... So we'll we'll uh, we'll go after. So after uh, Tears for Fears, we'll play Spanish one step beyond, and then we'll go after that to Tammy. Right. Okay. So let me. What's the hotline? To... Oh, sorry. Here, just punch it in here. <laughs> Uh, here, why don't you do it here? Oh, great. Thank you. you want to say it out loud? I don't remember it. Okay. Yeah, of course. I don't, seriously. I don't have it memorized. I should, but I don't. This is to show how little Ashley. I like people. You got that crazy border on there. We can play a video, Halloran, if you uh, know any videos on YouTube. I, I just sent you pictures to put up. There you go. On your phone. Does Did you get those? Does Does Max know that we're going? Yes. To Mandor first, first yeah. and then him. So I think I think we talked to talk to Tam going into the break. We're yep. coming out of madness yep. into the break. We'll take the commercial break and come out with Max. That yep. work for you? No, notice how when we're conversing, it's like he's in charge. That's his conversation. It's just, it's just sorry, sorry, I'm just like, like no, no. I it just it's it's funny. It's like it's always a thing. I'm always like, what do you want to do? <laughs> I like that uh, the thing you got going on there, Neil. That's pretty cool looking. What? The border. Oh, I have these photos. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know how we identify her. What do we identify her as? The smuggler? Uh, she's going to call on the hotline. I'm going to ask her. So how do you want to go in the air? Okay. Steve's original um, border crossing. Hey, can we turn the music? Oh, I'm sorry. We're rocking out. I know. I love it. Oh, you want me to turn it up or not? But I want Facebook to keep us on the oh, air. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Maybe, yeah, maybe <laughs> that's what they did at one point. They booted us. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened. We were taking up so much bandwidth with our reach oh. and our power. <laughs> Was a soul group in the 80s, wasn't it? Reaching power, reaching power, <laughs> probably was. <laughs> Ashford and Simpson, reaching power. They were doing the reaching together. power. Did we, did we go off again? What you got there? Uh, yeah. I can call this back. A couple people, Kevin and Poway, moved to tears when speaking about uh, what Resurrection Sunday means to him in the years that it's brought him joy and happiness to him and his life. Kevin, love. Uh, he was going to see his father, we hadn't seen in a long time after doing a bunch of distancing. So um kirk says play bowie starman for steve who's hanging out with david today probably listening to all this i was contemplating closing with life on mars yeah that was another that was his other one starman or life on mars kirk would be the guy bring us all the tears mm -hmm, right Sam. okay we're gonna put you on hold we'll be on right after the song stand by 40 seconds 40 seconds <clears throat> Oh, how do you want to be referred to? It's just Tammy from Tammy the Monthly? Okay, hold on. Don't go anywhere. <clears throat> All right, she's there. We got her. We're up. <clears throat> You know, you, you know, some bands, uh, somebody, somebody realized that to get more airplay on 91X, they had to send us the Spanish version, right? Uh, which Madness did. Uh, and Steve probably played that more than anybody on the planet because his Spanish, you know, because when he was living in Tijuana, uh, got 
so good. I mean, I don't know if you kind of realize that, but his Spanish was, you know, second to none, or as he used to say, the on the way, that's, that's all he, no, I'm just joking. I have no idea if the Spanish got any better than it was. But uh, one of the things that we need to point out during this tribute is that um, he, when he first arrived, it's been brought up a few times, he crossed the border to just take a tour of their station. They hadn't really hired him yet. And he went down there, and when he was coming back, they found a pay stub from the station he was working at in San Clemente. The border people, you know, the immigration people. Uh, hey, what are you doing? They basically were like, you know, this is, you know, pre, you know, all that stuff, all the stuff we're going through now. And and they just basically pulled him and said, sorry, you can't come back. You've been working illegally. And so he went back to the station. I don't know how he found his way back up there. I mean, that's, that's pretty remarkable anyway. And he pretty much stayed at the station for a long time. And then uh, a friend of his who became a friend of his had written a letter to the, the, the radio station. And I, I want her to tell the story. So we have uh, Tammy from Tammy and the Monthlies, who um, originally was, you were in a local band at the time, Tammy? Why, yes, I was. You were in Tammy the Monthlies. You wrote a letter to Steve through the station, right? Did you know anything yes. about the guy except he was just some dude with an English accent? Nothing, because when did y'all turn? When did y'all flip the station? Y'all? You're, you're from La Jolla. Jan- January 83. Yeah, January yeah, 11th, so 83. This was probably May of 83, because I had just broken up with my boyfriend, moved to a little dump downtown. Like, no one lived downtown. But I lived above a Mexican restaurant, and the only neighbors I had were were gang members. So I made friends with them. And uh, I would listen to the radio all the time. The radio was always on in my apartment. Always. Right. So uh, I would listen to him. He sounded like he was fun. So I wrote him a letter. I said, call me after 8. He called me at 8.15 in the morning. I'm like, what the (laughs) hell? I'm like, I meant at night. He goes, oh. Well, because <laughs> you were playing in a band, right? So you were not gonna, eight eight fifteen in the morning. That phone's never going to ring. Yeah, that it, the phone rang and I picked it up. I thought, oh god, who died? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how was that first conversation? It was fine. I mean, then he's like, "Oh, well, come come see me." I'm like, uh, "Where are you?" He goes, "In Tijuana." I'm like, "What?" Because I had no idea that we couldn't come back. I right. mean, it wasn't public knowledge. No one knew. I'm like, okay. He goes, come down tonight. Because I think it was a Friday. He goes, come down tonight. Where am I supposed to meet you in Mexico? So he gave me these ridiculous directions. And we met on the side of the road. I, honestly, I don't even remember where. And we go back to his place. We have some drinks and some dinner. I end up crashing there because there's no way I'm driving home. I don't even know what time it was. It was ridiculous. But we became friends, uh, frenemies. We like to fight a lot. Mm. Oh, God, we like to fight. Um, And really, I would spend time down there with him because he had no one down there. And so then it was like, okay, I'll bring you across the border. Started bringing them across. And I would bring them across to date girls because I'd go to my shows. I'd go to re- either rehearsal or a show. And he could take my car. And the only rules were girls had to be of a certain age. <laughs> I'm not going to touch, I mean? touch that. Yep. Nope. nope. Uh, okay. So, so you, when, Billy Bones was on the earlier talking about how he would smuggle them across and teach him how to say California. California. Um, did you have to give him elocution lessons about how to not get um, popped in the border? Oh, of course. Of course. It was just, I said, just shut up and just say U.S. Just say U.S. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't stop talking. Oh, no. He couldn't. But, you know, we would be pulled over a lot in Mexico, and he kept a stash of stickers. And I've actually seen the man give a cop, a federal aid, t-shirt right off of his back yeah but oh here you go yeah that was the guy that he was he would always uh, carry yeah. extra 91 shirts with them stickers right, so he would give the shirt right off his back i'm like oh that must have been nice and smelly for the guy <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely insane so uh at what point do you remember him getting flown back to london to get his visa in order oh yeah do you remember like did you stay in touch with him a lot after that oh yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
he would call me from from uh, London right. when he was there, you know, giving me updates on, okay, I'm coming back. I'm like, oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so when would, do you remember the last time you physically saw him or talked to him uh, in the last, you know, since since you guys, since you stopped smuggling him across the border back in 83 oh, or 4? We were always in touch. Good. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, a couple, well, quite a few years ago. I had lost a lot of weight, and I don't know. I was down there for something, and he looked at me and goes, you look better now than you did when you were 20. <laughs> Gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. And let me just say that at 20, I was too old for him. Okay? Oh! <laughs> whoa, whoa! 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not going to touch that one with him. Nope. You don't need to, but oh. I'll say it because I was there. I was there. You, you know what I love, though, uh, as as Hal mentioned earlier, uh, everybody does their impression. Steve, Tammy, yeah, does the accent as well. Everybody, wait, wait, everybody you know does what? it. I don't know. I don't know that as the listeners know this, but everyone who ever worked with him knows this. Before he actually turned the mic on to speak, what would he do? Do it. Come on. So uh, we used to play your song back in the day. We'll have to try to get uh, Tim Piles to maybe uh, do sure. a little Tammy and the Monthly's uh, tribute uh, later on. Uh, you, yeah, were, you, were, you were the woman that smuggled him across the border before Billy Bones did. Yeah, I, I was the OG smuggler. Yeah, you <laughs> certainly were. And it was like, let's do that. I'm like, okay, come on. It's like, okay, no, no problem. Yeah. How close were you ever get caught? I mean, was there any time where you, like, you got the, the old sphincter, oh, no, we're going to get caught. Um, yeah, every time was like, sure. they gave us the look. I'm like, oh, fuck, come on now. Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can imagine. I can imagine. All right, Tammy, thank you very much for calling in. We're going to call some guy in a few moments who was actually the boss at, at the time uh, who took over from uh, Jim Gilero. This guy called uh, Max Tolkoff, who uh, huh. at the time, he was, yeah, he was going by the, the name uh, Mad uh, Max, Mad Max uh, the mutant from Thorax. Do you remember him from back in the day? You know, I kind of do. And, Wait, uh, you know, what do you remember about him back in the day? Uh, the first time I actually talked to him was at the Spirit Club, and I walked up to him, and I took his glasses off his head. I was drunk, of course, and uh, put him on. I said, you sure are bald. I mean blind. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fight you? Did he what? Did he fight you at that point? No. He didn't. It's no okay. fighting. You should have a fight one of these days, you two. No. Okay. No, 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 no we'll leave it up to you. No need for that. Yeah. But Steve is the one that kind of um, set us up. Yeah. Set you up because you eventually married that guy. I did marry that guy. Yeah. We're going to talk to him in a few moments. Tammy, thank All you right. for calling in. Thank you, guys. Love you, Tammy. Love you, Steve. Bye. Bye, Bye Tammy. All right. Short break. We're going to come back and talk to Mad Max Volkov. The original boss of 91X, Resurrection Sunday, Remembering Steve. Danny uh, Massis wants to know if anybody knows what Steve did before he turned the mic on. What? All right. Did Steve have any rituals before he turned the microphone on? Yeah, but sing along. He'd sing along. Um, and he would uh, also do a lot of... Um, as we'd say, vocal gymnastics to warm up. Like what? Can you give us an example? If I can find one, I'll play it, actually. It may take a moment. Hal, are you going to get him on? Yeah, I just gave him a hotline number, told him to call. Groovy. Uh, let's see here. Where would that be? Oh, there he is. You want to pick it up from there? Let's see if I can find hey. some of this stuff. Did you hear the Tammy part? <clears throat> yeah. She's fine. She's very, she tells a good story. Even she dropped the fuck. Fuck in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Do you remember who's saying that? A tool dress. Okay, here we go. Can you, can you pick this up? Okay. One minute. 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 One would be that Kathleen or Catherine? Ninety one X. You decide. Simple Minds, early. Death Cab. <laughs> Death Cab for Cutie on 91X and it's got a light load to Kath. You, 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 he's the only guy that said it right. There we have 91X. Nine. He was the only guy that says 90. He actually put the T in where it needed to be. As you should. As you should. All right. Uh, welcome back. It is uh, Resurrection Sunday on 91X. Uh, special tribute to Steve West. Let's remember him and um, dedicate this week's program to him. Wouldn't be here without him. We wouldn't be here without him. Exactly. And uh, I'm going to put the guy on the phone who's probably one of the most responsible for making it possible for Steve West to be at 91X. So I'm going to hit this button. Max. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> old girl band of flirts. Bah, bah, bah. The old girl band of I will be fighting Cy Kernan in fisticuffs outside of the stadium. Max, we're going to play a, a, a Simple Minds track from the early days of 91X. What was the, because, you know, he and Billy would go, Simple Minds. They wouldn't say Simple Minds. They would say Simple Minds. What was the track that you would most associate with Simple Minds to see where actually have it in the, in the library? Um, let me say this first. Why are you even on the air? Yeah, why? <laughs> I mean, honestly, all of you could never get a job at a high school radio station. I think, I think you, I think you hired me, and I think you hired Tom Perry. Well, I'm still paying for that. You know, thirty years later, hiring you, I, you've attached yourself to me like a, an anchor weight. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I don't want to talk about simple minds with so Steve. What I wanted to talk about, I mean, like, you can ask me anything you want. I've got really weird stories. But um, no, what Steve is most remembered for musically, in my mind, two things. One, his idiotic insistence that Land Lies Down on Broadway is the greatest Genesis song ever. <laughs> I knew it. I and knew that was going to come up. You knew that was going to come up because he, all he did was drive me nuts trying to insist that was this was a hit. huge hit, right? In England, right? And, and, and wait, nobody let, heard. Let me let me set this up for you because when when you were hearing him say this was like 1984, right? Yeah. And Lamb Lies Down on Broadway came out in 1975. So it was already a nine-year-old track. They'd already kicked Peter Gabriel out of the band. Or he'd left, and it was already, already Phil Collins. And he's trying to convince you to play it as what? As what? Yeah, like as a uh, recurrent, as, as a grand. Yeah, as, right, as a recurrent, as a, 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 a critical a necessity. <laughs> of alternative. Uh, of alternative for Genesis. And, uh, but that's not the, the best one. The best one is the reason that Tears for Fears happened in this country at all is because of Steve. Right. Um, he went back to England one time, uh, and I, it was early, I guess, in the game. And I don't remember if he was, yeah, he was still stuck down there. But um, he came back from London. 
He came back from London with a whole bunch of vinyl, and it was all like, you know, little 45s, but with a tiny hole, which is insane. Because then we had uh, LPs that played at 45, but that's another story. But Steve bought back this original vinyl from England, and he goes, here, this is getting some airplay in England. It's becoming huge. I said, oh, really? And it was Tears for Fears, Mad World. And um, he was the first guy that, in this country, anyway, that introduced the band to the United States. As far as I'm concerned, K-Rock wasn't even playing uh, Tears for Fears. They had, Rick Carroll had no idea who this band was. How crazy so is what that? Year was that? When did he come back? Uh, and probably in 83 or 84. I'm trying to remember. Well, the station started January of 83. So when did, you know, so, Jan- so he was back to England and back here within nine months? Yeah, um, and but you know he couldn't come into the country. He had to fly back to Tijuana. Right. So uh, That's there insane. was that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Insane. But uh, you know, Steve. I, in case people don't know how it really first. I, by the way, Howard, you're wrong. The way that he was hired and came down there bears nothing. I don't even know why you're on the air, too, because you weren't even here. I know I wasn't. Right, cor- correct me yet. if I'm wrong. You you, <laughs> you drove back with him across the border? Who was in the car with him? All right. You see, here's the thing. You were like, I don't know. He got stuck. I don't know how he got back, is what you were saying earlier. He came down with Jim Calero. Jim brought him down the day before his first air shift and gave him a tour. You know, here's how to get up to the hill. Here's how to get to, you know, everywhere to go and take a look at it now. And he was, you know, giving Steve a tour. And it was about five in the afternoon. He was after. Uh, of course, Jimmy and I were in the reception area at the radio station. And we're just hanging out talking. And this demented sock puppet throws open the door. And he comes in. And he goes, hey, you guys looking for any help? And Jimmy and I looked at each other and went, oh, that's it. We just hit gold. We've got our Richard Blade. <laughs> he left, right? And he was just living in San Clemente. And the thing that, that turned him around down there was, yes, they saw a pay stub from a station in San Clemente. And the, the guy at the border goes, what is that? And Steve goes, well, that's my paycheck from Cape No, that's Santa Barbara. But it's my paycheck from the station in uh, San, San Clemente. Clemente. Right. right. And the guy goes, he says to him, oh, can I see your green card? Oh, no. And Steve goes, oh, I, I don't have one of those. And so they got turned around. They weren't allowed back in the country. So Jim Chalero, after about 45 minutes, he brought Steve up. We had chatted for a bit and then they leave. And then 45 minutes later, they're back. Oh, and, yeah. and Jimmy tells me this horrible story about having to turn Steve around, and not only that, they yanked his visa and stamped cancel on it. So they come back to the station, right? And then Steve has to live down there for the next year and a half. The the first time I've ever seen an Englishman with a tan, especially a ginger. (laughs) Right. All his his little curly body hairs were all blonde from sitting out the sun on his... uh, on his deck down in Tijuana because he couldn't come back across. Now, yes. What was, Sammy, he, what was he doing on the deck? He smoking weed. Mota. The mota. He was doing the mota. Uh, it's funny because so he... Tammy actually, Tammy actually threw him in the trunk a couple of times and <laughs> smuggled him over that way. Not sitting next to her, in the, in the trunk. trunk. In the trunk. Well, so be it. You know, sometimes you got to do that. So he had told the story that there was nobody else in the car. At one point, there's a tape of him saying it was just him in the car. No, no, because he, he didn't know how to get anywhere. It was Jimmy. So where Jimmy did you, brought, we asked we asked him this during our podcast? Where did you leave your car? He didn't remember. Do you remember that? I remember that he left it up there, but I think it was at the station. But how did he get it? See, this is the, the big the unanswered question: Is how did he how get his get car what? back down to TJ? How did he how did he get around TJ? He knew. People. I remember. Yeah, you know, he you eventually go. got his car. This is, he this eventually is... brought his car down. Somebody did, either Tammy or he brought it down, or Billy Bones broke him down. I don't know. Right. One of those things. But um, the car that he it was like an American junker. And he eventually, when, when he got the job, he bought himself a, a mid 80s Toyota Supra. Oh, right? That's Great car. It was a Supra, yeah. 
Right, gray car, but the inside of the car looked like an ashtray surrounded by newspapers. <laughs> and Carl's and so, Jr. wrappers. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Carl's Jr. wrappers. And things are on the dashboard. And the, the weird thing is that, so he would never wash it or service it or anything. About once a year, I would take him over to Body Beautiful and buy him a car wash and get all that shit taken out of the, sorry, right. get all the stuff taken out of there. Now, the other funny thing about the Supra was that to the day he got it, to the day you let it go, not once did he ever change the oil in the car. So you had this Supra that had like 250,000 miles on it with whatever original oil was in the car. That's the, the engineering of Toyota. Those things were indestructible. They still are indestructible. Yeah. They still are. Max, Max Tolkoff. We love you. Thank you, pal. Thanks for uh, calling in. Um, just to let everybody know, it's Resurrection Sunday on 91X. Uh, we're going to play a Simple Minds song, since you suggest that, Hal. And Simple Minds. Mike Peters oh, from New Gold Dream. Dream. What are you going to play? New uh, Gold Dream? I was going to do Come New Gold on. Dream or Promise You a Miracle. Which one you want? New Gold Dream. All right, man. We'll, we'll swap it out for you. We'll swap it out. Here we go. And before Thank we you. let you go, Max, we love you and uh, and stay healthy. I told you never to talk to my wife on the air. I don't know why you did that. You're dead. You're a dead wow. man. Wait, don't go anywhere. I didn't mean that. Oh, like they're right. going to have a fight now. Tell, 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 fight. Your, tell your nurse we said hello. I shall. Is it still Chelsea? Huh? Is it still Chelsea? Yes, but okay. she's busy on rounds right now. Yeah, so. tell Chelsea we love her. All right, see All you, right. Max. Cheers. All right, Max. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Tim Piles, everybody. Hi, Mom. Where's Bones? He was he here. He was here. He left about. Uh, you can have a seat right here. I saw him on the Facebook Live. Tab right. monthlies is in the system. We, we, had, we had to get the him off because Mike Peters is supposed to call him right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take over. That's hilarious. Always count on Mac. So willing to care for you. So go and make up your big little pussy cat eyes. Pussy cat, pussy cat, I love you. Yes, I do. You and your pussy cat. So willing to care for you. So go and make up your big little pussy cat eyes. Pussy cat, pussy cat, I love you. Yes, I do. You and your pussy cat. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. We're playing Simple Minds. But now we're gonna come to New Gold. Yeah, I mean, we might drop some foul language on the phone with my metallic. And then it'll all be good. Where are you right now? Nice. No, Pristatin. Is it near Abbasid? What's with it? Abbasid. Muckley. Why did he tell us? What's the other place? Abbasid. Oh yeah, I got a little weird. Yeah, I, 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 well, I can't say that. Like, click, 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 click. I'll let that go. Yeah. Do you have any part in our right, epic PSAs? Anybody we're gonna, we're gonna comment on that? Uh, you would we'll have to ask uh, Halloran that. Oh, so we have that. a Facebook question. Wanted to know if uh, Steve West ever played any part in um, reading some of those brilliant Mexican uh, public service announcements. Maybe. I would say no for the most part. No. Yeah. Because those were all recorded by other people. Do you want your little stand? Nope. Okay. Uh, Mike Peters, on hold from Wales. Lovely. He is a lovely human being. What, uh, 
Well, let's see. We'll, we'll have time to play probably one song after him. What alarm song should we play? Should we let him take it? Give me strength. Give me strength. Strength. He's strength. had a long. That, that was uh, that, was, <laughs> that was sung by. Uh, was it Cy Kernan? Or, no, no. Who who sung that earlier? Who's calling you? I don't remember. It may have been Cy. Mike Peters of Mike the Peters alarm. Mike Peters of the alarm. Uh, we just got a Facebook uh, thing that says our Facebook's been muted because of music. Oh. I still hear you fine on here. All righty, here we go, people. One minute. Am I supposed to hear something? Is this not? I don't know. I think it was working. Oh, I gotta plug you in. That would help. Plug you in. No comments. All the way over there. Gee, are you really? They don't. They... What about this one? Put it. Put them on. It doesn't work. Yeah. You want to run it over here? That's fine. Good. That's fine. Let's make it right there. All right, kids. Thirty seconds. And we'll be going live in thirty seconds. This is when X in Resurrection Sunday, remembering our dear friend Steve West, a founding member of 91X. His influence and legacy will always live on here at 91X. I'm joined by Michael Halloran, Tom Perry, Tim Piles now in the studio with us here. My name is Garrett. And uh, joining us on the line from Wales, we have Mike Peters from The Alarm. From Prestatin. What? We, we are doing good. Uh, you're actually in Wales right now, correct? I've just been out for my uh, baby exercise. I'm allowed to go for a run <laughs> once a day. And, uh, yeah, making the best of it. Better, best of it. Yes. So, um, obviously, you, you've met Steve over the years uh, here at 91X and, and probably elsewhere uh, in, in your endeavors. Um, do you remember the first couple of times you guys came down to San Diego uh, in, the, in the old days of yeah. the alarm? Yeah, well, I remember, um, I think I might have met some of the guys uh, when we played with you 2 in 1983 at the Sports Arena in Los Angeles. But not long after that gig, we came down and played a gig at a club called Rodeo. Right. And that's the first time I think I met Mr. Haller and possibly and Steve West as well. They might have been together, I'm not sure. Well, it was actually Steve there. You met me in Detroit before that. But, uh, but Steve was notorious at that club because we talked to Cy Kernan earlier. And Cy Kernan uh, got into a an altercation with him there at the club probably about six seven months before you played there. Wow! Uh, but uh, yeah, they they you know he he for some reason he and Cy because you know Cy I think he's a public school lad he didn't get along with Steve, so they started a fight. But you of course got along with him because you were working class like Steve West was. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Well, I, I know that Steve would always speak his mind, so I'm not, I can't imagine <laughs> him getting into trouble with Cy. Is that what they call it nowadays? Yeah. Awesome. So, um, what do you what do you remember about the 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 old days? Because everybody speaks very fondly about the early days of ninety one X and you know bands like The Alarm, Simple Minds, who we just played, obviously Fix and stuff like that. Uh, what do you remember about San Diego in those days? Well, I think it, it wasn't just a radio station; it was a station of personalities, real DJs who love music. You know, and a lot of our relationships with bands in the San Diego area in Southern California goes back to those days because you were the guys that would transmit the passion we put into our records. You, know, you, you would say, right, we're going to play this record twice back to back. or I'm going to flip it over and play the B side. And you communicated a passion. You drove people to come and see our bands play live. And you don't get that today. You know, that, that person to person, voice to voice, and you'd reach out into people's lives and you'd change them with your, you know, your intensity about the music you loved. And that, that's why the, the radio stations like 91X still live on. That's why, you, you know, people are celebrating the life of Steve West and talking to Tim Piles and Hi Tim, you know, and hey. your second. You know, you, you Mike Halloran, you think you like me, you've lived for the music you play and, and you love it. And that's, so it's, it's such a, um, a vital commodity, and, and, it, and it mustn't be underestimated how, how important you guys were to making music feel real for, for real people. Well, that is much appreciated, I think, from all of us in this room, and especially to, uh, to Steve's memory. 
uh, for stuff like that. Um, obviously, everybody's been in lockdown for a while. And I know, have you been doing any of these, the, the acoustic shows from your, uh, from the, the mudroom or the, the scullery? or what, what <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We've, we've been doing a, a thing called The Big Night In for nine episodes now. And it, it's like a, a television production. We have, we play videos, we have acoustic music, we have guests come in. All the things we learned from going into the U. Be interviewed at 91 X and other places like it around the country. Right. We we just run our own thing. And last night we had Eddie McDonald from the Alarm, the original band. We had Dave Sharp in. We have we had Ian McNabb from Icicle Works. We have the guys from Spandau Ballet on. You know, we we do a lot. It's a real great um, show, and it, it really keeps our community of uh, fans, which is global. Really, um, it keeps them active, communicated to. They feel alive through the music, and, and, and it's made this time feel worthwhile for all of us. And we've been able, glad that we could speak to them and see all their comments live for a couple of hours on a Saturday night or a Saturday afternoon or morning in California. So and what, everyone comes together uh, and celebrates life. Are they going to the alarm.net? Where are they going to for that? It's, it's the alarm.com website. Uh, but it's on our Facebook page that we go live, and that's the facebook.com slash the official alarm, and it's all there. Right. Yeah, I was talking to the unofficial alarm the other day, and they were very upset that you got the official <laughs> yeah, part. Yeah, they were, they were really upset about that. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so is that a Saturday night, normally a Saturday night thing? So you do it at what time in, in Prestatton? Yeah, Saturday UK time, 9, 9 p.m. Saturday night we go live. So it's about 1 o'clock in the and, afternoon uh, here. Yeah, and this week, we're, on this Saturday coming up, we've got Bruce Watson from Big Country and Mark Zicky coming on. And uh, we hope to have Chris from the Army he lives in San Francisco these days. We hope to get him on the show. And uh, right. you know, we keep uh, keep going as long as the lockdown stays in place. Right. Well, we'll, we'll be looking forward to that. I'll have to wake up early on a Saturday morning to see that thing. <laughs> Mike, can yeah, you... <laughs> see you late these days. Yeah. Mike, would you, uh, can you give us a recollection of the last time you were in uh, San Diego and saw Steve? We played at the House of Blues last summer um, with, uh, we had Jean Love Jeffrey and Modern English with us and, and we were doing like an acoustic experience before the show and Steve came to the event and uh, we actually ended up, we had a PA set up in the, in the, uh, in the venue, in the standing area and uh, so it was quite an intimate feeling uh, sort of event and we actually interviewed Steve <laughs> for the change and we talked to him about his, his history with uh, in Southern California, is a radio voice and a connector to picture bands and an influencer, and uh, and and it was great because he, he, we actually shoved him out onto the stage to introduce the band as well, and everyone knew him, the whole audience knew him, and it, he he's got that in, in, he's such a distinctive voice, and uh, and it was it was great to see him, and and he, he you know we we have a lot in common because we both been were diagnosed and, and been through cancer situations, and and uh, sadly Steve lost his battle now but he, he was such a fighter and he had such a will to live and uh, he just lived for the moment and that's what was beautiful about him he, he lived for that next record he could play on his turntable and uh, the next show he could go to and he was uh, always a great friend to, from with me right through and probably from 1983 right through to right. this year wonderful Mike Peters of The Alarm in Wales uh, calling in this morning to celebrate the, the life of Steve West. Uh, Garrett, anything from you? I just think the way to uh, close us out, I'd, I'd, love, I'd like to uh, play Strength from uh, The Alarm. We'll do that. Thank you very much, Fantastic. Mike Peters. Thanks, Thank Mike. Thank you, guys. Thank Go you, Mike. Dave. See you all soon. Take care, fellas. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. All right, I'll write this number down. Can you text on this number? To me, he played all the night. I'll send you a text. I remember seeing them so many times. I was in solo. So next time, because of these last few years, like I got to interview him at the Warp Tour because they played the Alarm played Warp Tour, and then I did a session with them. I had a really cool session with the Alarm. So I was a neat guy. I used to do a lot. Tell me, good morning. We're gonna go into the break. We're gonna do a short. The break. So I have um, yeah. moved. It'd be awesome if you um, jumped so in. So right. just as we, so we know you're coming in. Sure. Um, we're going to come pictures. out with the uh, interview with Richard. Doing a, we'll play a Black Celebration. I'd like to close with Black Celebration. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, 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 yeah, I was there. there. I'm going to put that in my thing. 
because I know no, she did say it out loud. I didn't want it to be on the Facebook Live. Hello, um, Hillary. Hi, Tom Perry. How are you? Good so to see it's you. good to see you. It's been a Blade, while. How long? I don't know, two and a half minutes. How are you? Uh, Richard Blade is uh, not an uh, exercise. Three thirty. Okay. Three thirty in the black, black celebration. We'll, we'll come out of black we'll celebration. We'll work on that. Two can't give me some chips. 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 Yeah. Right. <laughs> he obviously won. can't start it when he says it, or you probably could start it when he well, says yeah, it. Well, yeah, we'll try that. walking. How about that? <laughs> start I went running the other day, and my knee blew up. You went like, running, Timmy? I love that. Well, I went walking, and I did a nice little jaunt of running. Was it wog? Yeah, yeah. Walk, but the knee, the knee. Whoa! Yeah. The knee that I had my surgery wog. Oh. It kind of... You can't cool. say wog in England, I get... Why not? You're saying that you need to work out. Wog is in here. Thank you. So what are you doing, Garrett? Uh, we we're going to come out of this. We're going to do a fast break. I uh, want Hill in here, obviously. So she, you know, and uh, we'll do the commercial break. We're going to come out with the interview with Richard Blade, play Black Celebration, come out of that, um, make the announcement about what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, you want to take this play Life on Mars. And, uh, sure. And then, Thank you. And the Church of Bob. So we have a little stuff. Hi, Marty. Hi, Marty. Get a haircut. Or get a daughter. My daughter cut mine. Get a, get a daughter. daughter. That's what you have to do nowadays. Like Marty's just... kid gave himself a haircut, and it was it's so awesome. It's yes, like so Liam Gallagher. Yeah. I love this. Hi, Timmy. Keep in contact. Oh. I know. Where's the hand sanitizer? <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa. So talk off Roberta drop the Sherry shirt. says, please don't be back to the studio. Who, who will? <laughs> I heard Max's no, shit. Yeah, somebody said, I said, I said the F word with you. I don't remember saying it. I, I, like, I think I muffled it I don't think you on did. Tuesday. But I don't remember these things. I would have <laughs> remembered that, though. So. Joy says, good morning, Hillary. Joy? Mm -hmm. Aw, good morning, Joy. Uh, Tammy dropped a, a death ball? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't hear anything. I, I'm complete. I'm in complete denial of everything right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. I wanted to see bones. Damn it. Really bones. He's the one that started calling me Taliban Tim. Yeah. Everybody had a meeting. Hey, how are everybody? Doing? That's when I started taking over loudspeaker. Taliban. Taliban Tim. Why Taliban Tim? <laughs> There's because a. I have a. Clip of him saying that. That that who ha, what is that clip from of Steve West doing the da 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 a cool video. Uh, okay. the one that said, yeah, he probably would have done that. I could totally see him doing that. You know what Trev did when we switched over to Next Gen? Every 91X song that he put in our system under like ultra alt artist, he put Beyonce. <laughs> so every 91X song, I we changed some of them, but if you look, if you double click on it in uh -huh. Next Gen and pull it up, so many of them will say Beyonce or Beyonce and Jay Z or something. Oh my God. Because so <laughs> that, that doesn't show up in logs or no, anything. No, it doesn't show up uh, unless you like. But it's just that it. below artist, right? Yeah. It's just alt artist. Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty funny. There's a lot of Beyonce in there. Holly, he was ahead of his time. Haller and Muckley. All right, forty seconds. To... Oh, I'll tell you after. Okay, oh, come here. Muckley wants to know why he called you Meatball. Because Billy Bones started. Yeah, but Bones was the nickname Bones, king, Bones, right? Bones comes up with the nickname, so you just happen to go with it. <laughs> <clears throat> Diablo just texted me. We we're just talking about him. Just texted me. It's probably Ten because seconds. of this. That's not even next Resurrection Sunday as we remember Steve West. Uh, so I'm laughing because Matt Diablo has just been texting me. He said, he said, I can't believe the state of his car was only brought up once. <laughs> only once? And then he said, it's like it was like a traveling casino if the casino only served egg McMuffins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, Thanks uh, again, 
to uh, Mike Peters of the Alarm for calling in. We just played Strength from the Alarm, and uh, a song that empowers us all. Yes. Um, Hillary has joined, joined us in the studio. I, I'm, I'm going to warn you, we may go a little over a hill. That's okay. If you don't mind. That um, is, this is an excellent this reason is the time to, to push, push back the Church of Bob, if there this ever the, was This one. is when you should put your foot down and go, no, Mr. Program Director, <laughs> we need to play some Bob Marley. No, we will. Okay. It's fine it, with me. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, Richard Blade, uh, we're going to talk to him next. And uh, I, I, will, I will say, we recorded the conversation with Richard a little earlier in the week. Um, so we can have it ready for the show today. Um, and we'll do that and uh, we'll come back. Short break. It's Resurrection Sunday as we remember Steve West. Uh, never <laughs> so I have to ask Matt Bates if he's the one to put that thing together. That's right. Let's I can talk. I forget it's not like a silent movie. No fake news. Did you put that thing together with Steve West vocalizing? Question mark. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, he he, he and he and Joe. Oh, Joe. Joe's same thing. Oh. I'm Art McCoy from Army of Love, and you're watching the 91X TV show. That's some great music from Eddie Grant, Romancing the Stone. Hi, I'm Steve West, and I'm Pam Wolf. And welcome to the 91X TV show. And well, Pam and I are both lovers of great music, right, Pam? Mm -hmm. And we decided to go out and find out where all the great music was happening in East County, right here at the Stratus. Located in Spring Valley, the people at the Stratus really know how to party, and we'll show you some of that. Also coming up, highlights of Pam's interview with Pee Wee Herman. Oh, hello, everyone in San Diego. <laughs> Videos by Eurythmics. The Go Go. An interview with San Diego band Army of Love, along with a live performance of their song Exodus. <laughs> Plus info on how to win Padre baseball tickets to the upcoming 91X Before Play Party. So as you can see, we've got a pretty fun show for you lined up today. And of course, our very special guest, Pee Wee Herman, Pam's... Uh, Pam. Oh, Pee Pam. Look, hang on, we'll be right back. I'm just going to take care Pee of Pee Wee! Back on the 91X Show! Don't go away! Don't! Don't! <laughs> I'm Kathy, and you're watching the 91X Show. Stratus Nightclub is one of a handful of young adult nightclubs located in San Diego County. Because of this, you might think it will be difficult to attract a crowd. Well, not if you play good music, have a large dance floor, video screen, and provide lots of fun. Dancing, it's fantastic. Like I said, it's radical. You gotta come. It's a fun place to play good music, and you can go and be with your friends. I came here to see Steve West. Hi, I'm Sam Barris, the proprietor of Stratus Under 21 Dance Club, located in Spring Valley. And when you come to Stratus, be sure to say hello. I'd love to meet you. Stratus is the young adult club of the 80s with 91X nights every Thursday and Friday. Now don't disappear. Coming up on the 91X TV show, you'll meet local band Army of Love. Hey, this really is a great place to be, isn't it? Stratus, every Thursday and Saturday nights for 91X nights. I'm Steve West. You can join me weekdays from 91X between 10 and 2. And of course, next week for the 91X TV show, 5.30 here on Channel 6. So, till then, have a great week. I'm going to join the fun here. It was kind of a transition then, I think, where, you know, but that was the spot, you know. All right, live. Live again. 30 Hi, seconds, and I will bring up, I will Hi, play back Richard. <sighs> Deep breaths. Sunday so next and Resurrection Sunday, remembering Steve West, um, and it's it's uh, a pleasure to get this man on the line from the world famous K Rock. Hello, Richard Blade. Yeah. Well, you know, Richard, um, 
it's weird because when when your fellow DJs pass away, um, you don't really know how much they mean to you until you start talking to their their uh, contemporaries, their friends, the band members that they uh, you know related with, and you uh, as Richard Blade are the reason that Ninety Rex got our uh, Englishman because you were obviously at K Rock for years, and everybody's like, you need to get a Richard Blade, and so we got a Steve what? West instead, and and now we get to talk to you about it. I know you met him over the years. Oh, and he. He was a great guy, and I mean, if anyone was to step in as an Englishman at 91X, he wasn't just the accent, he was the real deal. He knew his music, and he loved his fans. Yes, he did. And it's funny, because I worked with both you and him. I worked with him first, then you at K-Rock in, in, in 88. And I remember thinking to myself, God, they're completely different guys, but at the same time, they've still got the English, you know, classiness where you, you know, you never offend anybody. You know, you're always kind of like the life of the party and everything. Is that something that just happens with the, with you guys? Well, I think I never met them, but I would think Steve's parents were a lot like mine. You know, they brought me up to respect other people and to have tolerance. And uh, unfortunately, these days, particularly in our situation we're in, People seem to have lost that tolerance. But Steve always had that. You know, a fan stopped him and asked him a question, unless he was, you know, running for a plane or something. He was happy to stop and talk to them. And that's what my parents always instilled in me. Right. That you're no more important than the next person. So give them time. Definitely. Yeah, we've, we found that out. The, the fan outpouring on the Facebook pages have been monumental. I mean, it's like we knew, you know, we had a treasure, but nobody kind of really realized how deep and wide you know, his influence was because, you know, he was on the air in San Diego for the better part of 37 years, I guess it would have been. Absolutely. I think it was Joni Mitchell who says, uh, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. Yep. And he was great. I mean, the fans put their devotion in the right person there because he really cared about them a lot more than the business of radio. He, he liked, he loved the music and he loved the people that gave him the chance to be on the air to bring them that music. Right. That's true. Uh, Garrett, any questions for young Richard Blade? My question is this, Richard. I'm a big fan. I grew up listening to air checks that a friend of mine used to send me of you and always hoped that I would have a chance to work in alternative radio on the West Coast. So it's an honor for me to be at 91X and now be the, at the helm of the show that Steve hosted on 91X for so many years, Resurrection Sunday. Much of the music we play here on Resurrection Sunday is music that both you and Steve helped make famous. So um, as we uh, head out here, I would love you... Uh, Request a song that we'll uh, we'll play uh, going out of this segment. What do you want to hear? Anything you want. Well, if it's going to be a song, it has to be from Depeche Mode. And I would say if we could play the title track of Black Celebration, it would be appropriate because it's a black, dark day when we lose someone like Steve West, where we have to celebrate his life and everything he brought to the life and everything he brought to the life and everything he brought to the life, and everything he brought. We're going to play Black Celebration from Depeche Mode. <laughs> Are you playing the vinyl version? I am the vinyl version, play? yes. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Can I get this? Yeah, that's there you go. Just cue it up. Let me try it again. Here. I love that. Just froze. <laughs> it's just like that was amazing. That was Steve West. <laughs> yeah, that was Steve West. <laughs> that was Steve West. There's the original ghost in the machine right there. Steve I West. Love it. He's invaded the, the yes, box pro. Invaded the circuits. All right. So we're gonna come out of this. He invaded it. We're gonna we're gonna come out of this. <laughs> yep. We're gonna close out. We're going to make the announcement that you're giving up your time slot sure. tonight because so many people have reached out and and do yeah. the rebroadcast and everybody gets up at 6, 6 a.m. And, uh, and then we're going to play Life on Mars, and we'll be about probably six, seven minutes over to go into church about. Just play the reggae version Part of 10. Life on Mars. Yeah, there you or, go. I'm sure there's probably okay. a version of it. Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. It's okay. You okay with that? It's worth it, yeah. You come in every Sunday and do this? Every Sunday. Of course. Yeah, I was really well, I, I was Live. Local. You're always the last one on the line. I was like, yes, you come in every Sunday. You know this. 
Don't give me that slide eye, Hal. But she gets up. She gets up at uh, at five to tune into the whole show. Right. So she she's all the whole pumped. Thing. But she she absolutely like I, I, I hear from you like you're you're one of my biggest fans. I, text I me am. And, uh, I am. I listen to every Sunday morning. Like, I used to hear her on ninety four nine requesting uh, what was it? Winger, Warren, White Line, what cycle of the band you requesting on Steve's station? <laughs> No idea what you're talking about. Your comedy. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> try. It's not working Emphasis now. on try. Yeah. Don't try to be funny because we've got Tom Perry here. He actually is funny. Uh, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the modesty. It's incredible. <laughs> How's Seabase doing? How does uh, uh, Seabase do? Dude, I just threw out the Seabase challenge. Seabase challenge. Seabase challenge. Okay. And we're doing a song, a new song by. Uh, Know, remote so yeah i threw down i threw down a bass line and i sent it to blanky okay and he goes can you play it to a click track and i said no <laughs> i said can you play drums like a human <laughs> and so then uh, there were a few more names that it banded about and then uh, and then he said well check your email and so he sent me a he right. finally did his part so it's kicked on Have down you, the line you it on video? uh i recorded mine on my phone on video. Uh, on, no, it's a wave file. They're just sending the individual the technology, tracks. The technology. You're not doing the Zoom thing. Yeah, haven't you seen how they do the technology now? They actually send the video and they send the video to the next guy. And then you send a video back. And then you, and then you tell two friends. Yeah. Then they two tell friends. <laughs> what shampoo was that again? Do you remember or, that part? Well, I can remember. Pure ethanol. I don't know what's not. Tim, I'm very excited about your hair. <laughs> can we show? Do we could do a close-up? Oh I see it. I haven't seen it. This is embarrassing because I don't really want it on here. Look this at Tim's more, hair. This is more for personal. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm gonna get the oh. I love it. You I have like hair. It. I've never <laughs> seen you with hair, except in the old picture. You're the one I had hair when I started. Oh you and Robin. I, yes. We Just said outside that. female influence that's support. Right. Support. That's right. Um and I started shaving my head. And Malcolm had a little slide influence, which is hilarious to finally see Brian Chalk post those pictures oh from KNAC. Well, we've seen video back in the day of Malcolm. But Malcolm live in uh, 30 seconds, everybody. Okay. Yeah, I just, yeah. On this way, I just have not shaved. Oh but I'm getting. Send you next Resurrection Sunday, a special tribute edition to our dear friend Steve West. Um, we have to wrap up the show. Um, we're about done. Um, before we get there, though, I want to first say thank you to Dave Wakeling of the English Beat for calling in this morning, Johnny Batos of Boingo Boingo, Sai Kernan of the Fix, John Easdale of Dramarama, Mike Peters of the Alarm, also um, Richard Blade from the world famous K Rock, who we just spoke to. Um, 91Xers, original staff members, Mad Max Tolkoff, Billy Bones, Katie Manor, Dred Scott. Obviously, I, I'm so, so touched that, that Tom Perry came in and joined us this morning. Matt Michael, Bates on text. Matt, uh, Tammy. Michael, Michael, Tammy. Um, Tammy never worked here, but uh, she, no, definitely, she definitely worked on a few people who worked We're here. We're thankful for Paul. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Come on. You know, she you, called in house. It's a whole nother show. Good lord. Good lord. Um, so we, I want to get to this because uh, it's, it's important. Um, we've been recording the program today. The intent was to put it up uh, on the 91X website tomorrow um, so people can uh, revisit it on demand. Perhaps you were not able to listen and join us this morning. Perhaps you'd like to tell friends and family about it. Perhaps you'd like to um, revisit it. Uh, so uh, provided the machine kept going, we've recorded the entire program, and I believe it's it's fine. I checked on it a bit. Let me, let me just... Does it look it look okay? Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's <laughs> still recording. I don't know if I can see it. It's however, real to real. However, a grand idea has been hatched. Um, Tim, would you uh, please share what we're going to do? Well, as a young man growing up here in San Diego and having the experience of being around when 91X came to existence and how important it means to me, this station, 
the lifestyle. I mean, the eighties was like no other and Steve West represents it so much. Um, let's, let's cancel loudspeaker tonight and re air what? this. We're going to cancel loudspeaker. Don't you have to ask the PD first? No, it's I don't. Show. It's your show. I'm, I'm uh, executing what we call now a Steve West. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, typically I'm on from six to seven, just promoting loudspeaker and then loudspeaker seven to 10, six to 10. Let's, let's do this. Come on. So just, wait, what are you going to do? Uh, I'll probably hang out at home and listen because <laughs> there's no loudspeaker. So, so you're going to run the whole show that we just did? We're yes. Going to, yeah, let's let's rebroadcast the entire show we just did tonight from 6 to 10 p.m. on 91X so people can hear it again. Yeah. Or if you missed it or tuned in, you know, people sleep in, tuned in late, whatever. We're, we're right. good. So, so we're going to rebroadcast this entire thing tonight starting at 6 p.m. And then probably sometime tomorrow we'll have the audio up on the 91X website so you can hear it on demand. How's that? That's great. I love that. Tim Files. Yeah. Tim Files. Thank you, Timmy. Well, Let's be honest here. To tell There's you. two things going on right now, and we want people to have an opportunity to check this out. Um, Steve West is just such an icon to all of us. As I said before, he's bigger than both stations combined, so why not? Uh, yeah. You know, why not do it? Yeah. He represents it to me what this station is. He is 91X, regardless yeah. where he is. I don't care if he's at the Flash. Or wherever he's ever he, been. He was. He was. <laughs> he's been in several places, but much like I was at another place, I've always felt connected to this station. This yeah. place yeah. means so yeah. much to me. All of us in this room were other places. <laughs> yeah. All of us. Yeah. yeah. I kind of wish you could go somewhere else right now. <laughs> wow. Has this been the Halloran show uh, listening? Let me just explain one thing to you youngsters in the room here. Wow. Please do. Oh. I love you, Howard. It's nice I to see you here. I love you too. Six feet away. We are all. I, 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 away. I, honestly, uh, I'm honored to have had the opportunity to share the studio with you guys this morning. Thanks for being here. Um, you, love you, Garrett. And uh, let's go out with this. I think it's the uh, perfect closer. It's Resurrection Sunday, 91X. We love you, Steve West. Steve West! Nobody said West in peace. Rest in power. Oh, yes. This is super fun. <laughs> You're so funny. I uh, had a prostate cancer diagnosis myself in 2004 which was discovered quite by accident. What got me all excited about this was the, the lack of information about awareness that's out there for prostate cancer in general for men. I really didn't know anything about prostate, what the prostate was. And I, I, I used to get migraines in the early 2000s. And I went to my doctors because I'd ran out and I needed a refill and the pharmacy wouldn't do it over the phone. So I had to go see the doctor to get a refill for the prescription. At the end, as I was leaving, he said, we haven't done a PSA uh, blood test on you in a while let's do one so he took the blood and then the following morning he called me he was very alarmed he said your PSA is elevated to a 14 I need you to see a urologist following week I saw the urologist and eventually he examined me and we biopsied uh, a lump that was found and it was stage three prostate cancer and I didn't have a single symptom that something was wrong so another good reason for guys you know you may not be feeling anything wrong you know um, but hey, go, go, go see your doctor and tell him you want to check, check your prostate and make sure that everything's good. Seriously. That's my mission from this point forward is to get, get San Diego involved and 91X is getting behind this big time. We're going to change our color of our logo to from yellow to blue. We're going to be having lots of fun events and some really cool prizes to be giving away all through the month of September. We're going to change our logo from yellow to blue for the month of September. We're going to encourage everybody else to do the same thing and continue getting the message out there. But yeah, there'll be a lot of fun things going on there and things to be won. And encourage your friends, maybe go paint their house blue. Put blue lights on their porch. Call your boss and have him light up the business blue. Just go do it. We're going to do a quick, like, you have to turn that down there. Kids would That's go to, the, right? Right? We're, 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 we're right behind. Uh -huh. 
and they were cast only up until recently. Are we on? Yeah. Hi. Uh, I just want to once again say thank you to everybody who joined us this morning as you try to do our best to honor and remember our friend Steve West, founding member of 91X. His legacy, his influence will always live on here at 91X forever. He'll always be a part of us. He's one of the reasons we're all here. And thanks again. I, I, I'm touched by all the wonderful outpouring of love from everybody this morning who were listening uh, wherever you are. Uh, but especially here in San Diego and in Southern California, where 91X has always meant so much to so many people, and Steve's meant so much to us. So thanks again. Um, listen to the rebroadcast tonight from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, we'll also make the entire audio available on demand to be streamed from the 91X website starting sometime tomorrow once we get it up. Um, and once again, thank you for being here. Uh, much love. Steve West, thank you. Adios, everybody.